the, the starting point of this simple training uh, really is that well-being, complete life satisfaction and flourishing are already present. That's the starting point. That, is, that isn't the goal of this training. And so um, I don't hear myself in the mic, but it, maybe it's on. Um, so that's, that's quite amazing, isn't it? Now, some of you might be looking for something more than that, like total bliss or whatever, but, you know, that's, that's just never going to happen. So um, <laughs> it's much, it, you know, now I, I was looking, to, I, I was just looking to feel okay in my life. That's all I wanted uh, as I got older. I've tried uh, m so many practices and it was only when I came to this practice and was given instructions on how to do nothing essentially with what's occurring in, in, uh, in my data, in my mind, that this became obvious. I'm okay no matter what I'm experiencing. So I would really from the heart, if you're, if you're practicing something like positive thinking, just uh, give yourself a break from that you know, just for say six months and, and, and try the instruction set of the four mainstays and see what happens. Uh, because, you know, what we're doing here is firstly we're, we're introduced to the basis of our experience, open intelligence, and, in, and, and, and simply all we do in this practice is recognize open intelligence rather than the descriptions of our lives. And the four mainstays, the support structures of balanced view, um, our instructions on how to do that and to get familiar with that. And what you'll find is, whether, you're, whether your thoughts are positive or negative, you're completely fine. There isn't any need to poke them with a stick and try, and try and change them. And quite frankly, even if you are able to only have positive thoughts, if you're only, only able to experience positive thoughts, that is, is going to be really, really boring. That is not the solution. There is always something missing. And the, and, and, and the simple problem is that we believe that we do need to have a, a set, stable set of thought, thoughts, emotions and circumstances in order to be okay, but we cannot do that. You know, the nature of reality is such that everything appears, abides and resolves continuously, relentlessly. You've got no idea what the next thought will be. So. In the balanced view training, we just get used to this, this flow. We allow things to be as they are, and we find that we're completely fine, no matter what's going on. And, and where we recognize this is in our everyday lives. It's, it's in our, with our own thoughts, emotions, and circumstances, data, so to speak. Uh, because we've been programmed, relentlessly programmed, relentlessly brainwashed into believing that w there is something missing we are flawed and that we lack something. Now, I shared this in the training the other day, but when I was a child, my parents would read me one story. I would only accept one story to be read to me. And um, it's a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. It's called The Tinderbox. And uh, I wouldn't have any other story. If they tried to re introduce another story, I'd start crying. I wanted this story. And, uh, and I think they started reading me this story when maybe I was just over one years, year old because it had pictures and everything. And maybe they stopped when I was four and a half, something like that. So that's 2,000 times I've been read this story maybe. <laughs> and um, so before I could even speak, I was being read this story. And the, and, and, and the plot of the story, like any fairy tale, is there's something really, really wrong. <laughs> and uh, the big soldier he's going to sort it out and he, do, he does sort it out but in order to sort it out he must get the princess and marry her and they live happily ever after 2,000 times <laughs> so and you you have all probably been subject to the same programming all of the stories that children are read basically say there is something wrong that needs fixing does anyone know no, the Mr. Men, Mr. Greedy. <laughs> now, Mr. Greedy, he eats too much. He doesn't eat as much as me, but he eats too much. <laughs> and in order for him to be, to be uh, accepted by the other Mr. Men, he has to stop eating and get thin. End of story. <laughs> and some poor child has been read that 2,000 times. 
And so you see all of this, all of this programming, you know, and, and the intention of course is, is to, to, to let ch children learn to read and so that they can sleep, at, you know, go to sleep at night and, and get to sleep easily and all of these things. But can you see what's going on? We don't recognize just how insidious this relentless programming is. And it, it's very obvious in religion and spiritual practices, you are flawed, you need to purify yourself in order to be okay. But it starts almost as soon as we pop out of our lovely mothers. <laughs> you know, we need to be fixed and we will never be happy until we are fixed. And the unfortunate thing is, the evidence is that we, can't, we cannot fix ourselves. So then we think, well, okay, it's nothing to do with me, it's the, the a thousand lifetimes beforehand. Somebody was misbehaving, and this is why, this is why I, I'm, I'm in such a state now. So again, we disempower ourselves. I can blame somebody else. And now, you know, I'm not going to behave just so someone in the future can have a good time. No way. <laughs> why, why should I? Why should I do that? But yet I can still blame other people that in the past. You know, so every, everything points to disempowerment. I blame someone else for my problems. We're very, very good at doing that. So when, when we come to this training, it turns everything on its head. The starting point is that there is complete life satisfaction, well-being and flourishing to be had immediately, right now with whatever you're experiencing. That's the starting point. And the reason I can say this co so confidently is because the nature of reality is that data are inseparable from the basis of our experience just like a mirror and reflections are inseparable. Now, if I was to hand out a hand mirror to everyone in this audience, including myself, and we, we look at it, does, does the identity of the mirror change because of the reflection in it? it? Obviously, it does not. The mirror isn't going, oh God, you're so ugly, <laughs> you know, which is, I was convinced probably the mirror was saying to, to me when I looked in the mirror. You know, if I put it there like that, it's not going, ah, oh. and when I put it there, it's going, ah, oh. <laughs> lovely, pretty flowers. You see, the nature of the mirror does not change. Uh, when we rely on open intelligence, when we allow data to flow on by, we're, we're immediately identifying with the mirror, the, the clear, open expanse that allows for everything equally. So, f like I said before, from the heart, if you're in, in, engaged in practices where you're trying to purify and change, your mind or the flow of data, then just stop. Especially if you're here in Arambol, give yourself a chance of a new approach. Because you can ask yourself, has, has, has any, of, uh, any approach led to complete life satisfaction and flourishing in any individual? And more importantly, in your experience. So when I, when I came to this practice, uh, I didn't believe a single thing that was being said. And probably there are many people here that probably even don't understand what's being said. And so that's, that's actually great. You can just relax because you don't need to understand anything. If you just keep coming back to these open meetings, do an introductory training, we have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours of videos uh, and talks that you can upload for free on your MP3 player just by listening to these talks just by participating in these trainings, not understanding a single word, you will start to recognize what is being described here in this, in this training, that there is a pervasive field of, of, of relief and potency, open intelligence. Now, the introduction to open intelligence, as we heard, is very, very simple. Stop thinking. Right now, just stop thinking. In your experience, what remains? So the practice of open of short moments is to relax and acknowledge that presence, that openness, whenever you remember. And it's your, your life that provides you with that opportunity. So all of your thoughts, all of your emotions, all of your sensations, in each moment you have a choice to either emphasize open intelligence or not. Keep the focus on yourself. And this is why it's so powerful. The four mainstays bring about the recognition of self-perfection, ever-increasing self-perfection in your experience. It's not a philosophy. It's very, very clear, in my experience anyway, 
that unless I'm in teams that are, uh, are taking responsibility for their own data, then what we can achieve in teams is very, very limited. Because most of the time, people will not be able to get beyond what their wife said to them in the morning. Or, or you know, what, why is this person giving this job? I, I'm much more intelligent than that person. Why, why am I not in charge of this team? You know, it's, um, it's just it's simply the way it is. And you will see this in, in your own experience. But like I said, just by you relying on the four mainstays, you will be able to affect you know, be a very effective and very supportive um, in, in, in groups and with, with members of your family as well. And I just, you know, just quickly wanted to address the, we, we all have people we love dearly um, and unfortunately the people that we, we, we think would benefit the most from this training probably aren't the, mo aren't the ones that are interested in it. So all we can do in this, these circumstances is we rely on the four mainstays and bring love, support and honour to, to the person, ho however they are. We don't need to say anything about the training. Um, one, one of the things that uh, I find very powerful in this training is to focus on gratitude and appreciation and the strengths, gifts and talents of the people we meet, rather than their shortcomings, and only focus on that. And that alone is a great gift.